Hey guys, welcome back to Cigar Time. My name's Time, and this is the Blackbird Cigar Company Rook. They have uh, they have six on their line, and this one is uh, this one is the Rook, and which I like because I like playing chess, and it's a uh, just a cool little cool little thing. But anyway, cigar. Um, it's got a Sumatra binder or wrapper. My bad. It's got a Sumatra wrapper. A Habano binder. I have the notes here, and the filler is Nicaraguan and Dominican, so it may have a little bit of spice to it, which should be uh, should be interesting. And it's been sitting in my humidor at sixty nine percent for about a month now, because uh, I got this with my um, in the sampler pack, and um, got it in my first shipment of Bravada. Um, I ordered it, I tagged it on. So, um, anyway, I'm going to quit yapping and cut this uh, little bit sloppy double cap. Nothing much besides barnyard scent. Not real strong, it's, it's faint, but it's still there already. Here we go. Still can't find my V-cut. I have no idea where it is, which is very disappointing because I really like that. I prefer the V-cut, but... Lately, I've been using flush because guillotine. That's what I got. I don't use punch very often unless it's for like a CAO flathead or a uh, um, uh, like a Java or something like that. Cold draw is little, little bit of earthiness, but. A little bit of uh, of cream, like thick cream, and a little bit of chocolate. Alrighty, we'll light it up and see. I've been waiting to review these things forever. I keep looking at them whenever I open that humidor. Very nice. So, wow, there was a, a hit on the finish. And it wasn't pepper, it was like a deep oak. That was interesting. Let's see if it'll actually continue like that. I never trust the, whenever I say second or second draw or whatever, it's first draw that I just did, that first puff. It doesn't, uh, um, it's extremely rare for me to have the first draw the same as the second draw and the rest of the cigar usually once everything gets lit around the outside of the cigar and the wrapper then all of the flavors have come together and then with the second draw everything is lit and then it'll uh, um it'll taste uh, it'll taste the way that it's supposed to so that's why i go with the taste of the second draw not the first one and the first one you're you're puffing 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 get the thing lit, and then you got to blow on it, and then you take um, take a hit or a puff or whatever, and um, then go to the second draw. And the second draw is the one that you really start to taste stuff, and that's the one that you start to pay attention to. So that's why I ignore the first draw. That's why I go and puff on it, and then do a second draw, and go from there. So let's see if this, uh, see how it is. Second draw. It's definitely oaky. Um, that has remained not any any pepper right away. So I'll uh, I'll get into this thing a little bit, and when the flavors change, I'll let you know and pick it up there. Phenomenal flavor. Um, medium bodied. Definitely a uh, um, definitely a very good smoke. As this is. I'm pleasantly surprised, and it was definitely worth waiting. Um, biggest issue that I have with it right now is, as you can see, it is very wonky. Now, I just got that right there to finally close off. It was just about to, but I've, I'm going to try to let it go, see if it corrects itself, but that is, that's major. From there to there, that's... That's pretty major. So, um, 
it's one tick on the cons, but uh, it's made. It's probably just due to how it was wrapped, and it's uh, um, it may just be this one cigar. So that I don't mind. Um, I may have to touch it up here in a bit, but that's okay. So anyway, flavors, flavor wise, um, still very heavy on the oak. Um, there is a sweetness, a very mild, very light sweetness on the finish that I couldn't figure out. And as it turns out, I finally did. And it was, uh, um, it's like, it's a, it's a nutty sweetness, like how almonds and peanuts have that um, raw, or not raw peanuts, but unsalted peanuts and raw almonds have uh, that just little, little, little bit of sweetness, like right on the right on the tail end. Um, that's what that's what it tastes like, and it's very uh, very nice. Um, medium bodied so far, medium strength. Um, it was mild at the beginning, and it's built a little bit um, up to a a solid medium. But overall, still fantastic. The ash, there is not a speck of white in this. It is all dark gray. It's very nice. Um, no feathering at all. It's been fantastic. So I'm going to keep going at this, and I will, uh, I will let you know how this travesty right here turns out and how, uh, um, how it continues to perform. Hold on a second. Alrighty, so real quick, it did actually correct itself, as you can see, in that extra bit of tobacco that didn't burn. Just right there. That's okay. So, it corrected itself, which is like a very, as all high quality cigars should, and the ash is still holding on. Which is great. Um, so, I'm actually going to go ahead and remove the band now. The band starts on the back side. I'll show you if I can. Maybe. Oh boy. It's a really cool band, so I want to keep it, but I'll just show you anyway. Hold on. Wow. Barely made it into the ashtray. I don't know if y'all saw that or not. But So, the top of the band actually has a blackbird on it. And then it goes all the way around. So that's really cool. It's a neat extra little thing. I may have to take this off. Oh. Nope. Okay, good. Oh. Really want to keep this, so. Okay. Nice and easy. It's like hardly any glue on it except for the uh, except for the bird, so hold on. Cool. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get back to this, and I'll see y'all in a sec. Went out. Great. Okay. Into the second third here a little bit. Um, the sweetness has picked up ever so slightly. It's still a nutty uh, um, almond-like um, sweetness, but it has added a little bit of pepper. Yay! And but only in the only in the only in them uh, only in the retro hail, which is nice because I can still enjoy the enjoy the flavors of everything. Um, the finish has started to linger a little bit longer, and um, still same basic stuff. There's a lot of uh, a lot of oak, a little bit of cedar has been introduced, but um, it's not it's not woody, but it's more like it's more like smoky. It's it's like a, um, like you put oak on a uh, a smoker before the meat gets there, or if you uh, um, if you put if you make campfire or whatever. It's what it doesn't smell like a campfire, but it does uh, um, does help uh, um, define it a little bit better. Like if you lit a tree on fire, I guess I don't know, but um, it's still very good. Ash is staying on about an inch, inch and a half, inch and a half, 
and um, still solid gray, very nice. So I'm gonna keep smoking this thing down to the final third and I'll let you know as things continue to change. Alrighty, final third here. Um, I'm gonna smoke this thing down as far as I can get it, but I wanted to make uh, make the final video before then. Uh, so, flavors haven't changed. They picked up in intensity a little bit. Um, same amount of pepper. It's it's not overpowering. Um, the uh, um, the nuttiness is lingering more. Um, it's been on the on the sides of my tongue for the finish, but now it's starting to come over onto the uh, onto the top of my tongue and on the top of my palate, and it's uh, it's very it's very pleasant. So overall, it's been fantastic. Draw has been perfect this whole time. Um, something else I wanted to say about it, and I already forgot. So oh well, I guess it wasn't that important. But uh, awesome, awesome stick. Overall, very, uh, very flavorful, um, very solid medium, bordering on medium to full body, um, but still great cigar. Um, I like the medium, medium to full side anyway, and it's, it's just, it's been, it's been fantastic. It's been great. It's uh, ash is definitely still holding on. For a little bit, I did have to touch it up about three, maybe four minutes ago. Um, it just wasn't gonna, just wasn't gonna catch up. And since I'm so close, I'm like, well, if I don't do it now, then it's not gonna happen. So went ahead, touched it up. It was very minor, but the um, what I was getting from it was um, not woody, but there was a lot of smoked wood flavors but from online from their website what they say that the cigar is and this is of course their own opinion compared to my own opinion so everybody's palate is different and it was really cool to be able to taste it for myself and then look at their notes um, of what uh, um, of their tasting notes and what they saw or they had in their cigar they said that it's um, has a natural sweetness taste, which I agree with, and it's blended to provide a creamy profile on every third of the smoke. I didn't get a whole lot of cream. It was a little bit of cream at the, at the beginning, but other than that, I didn't get any cream, and that's okay. Um, it is made to be a more creamy cigar, and I got more wood, uh, wood notes out of it, and it's just... It depends on how refined your palate is, or or and how uh, um, how you like it, how do you, how fast you smoke it, how hot you smoke it, um, what uh, the number of draws that you do per minute or whatever. It just depends on um, humidity is also a factor, and also mainly it, um, opinion. So. As you saw in my last co collaboration video, that it's sometimes it just happens. It, it you have you have two different people that have two different palettes, and it's uh, that's what makes cigars so fun. Is everybody's taste is different, and as you mature and your palate grows, then you find that you like cigars that you used to not like, and then you um, dislike cigars that you used to love, and it's just. It's refining your palate. It's 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 growing. It's your um, taste buds change over time, and it's just just something that happens. Um, really, uh, it's it's just fun. It's just really fun, and it's an enjoyable and tasty hobby. So, um, on final note, the uh, before I give you the score of what I thought. Um, have noticed that 70% uh, of the people that have watched my videos are not subscribers. You don't have to be a subscriber, but it uh, um, it does help with uh, um, help. It helps me. It helps you stay up to date on stuff with different cigars. I'm 
definitely going to be reviewing the other five that I got in the uh, um, in the sample or in the sampler, um, all robusto size five five fifty, and um, just I do a lot of weird sticks and some common ones, and we'll uh, we'll see how how this goes and. Comment if you like the weird stuff. Comment if you like the uh, um, if you like the the common sticks that you can find in any store. And um, I should start here in the next couple of weeks doing um, some breakdowns of the actual cigar, doing dissections, which should be really fun. And I'll smoke one as I'm dissecting and give the give the review of both. Um, and so anyway, back to the cigar. The, uh, um, I'd rate this 7.5, 7.6. It's a really, really good stick that I really enjoyed. And for me, it's an afternoon stick. I had a, uh, a really good lunch and um, definitely um, needed it because it was a little bit strong, but it wasn't overpowering. But overall, fantastic. And I really enjoyed it. I hope that if you were able to pick these up, that you enjoy it, and I will see y'all in the next video. Stay smoky.